What's going on, guys? You already know who it is. It is your host, Fly Stewie. Today, we're going to go over some Axie gameplay and show you some of the popular builds in Season 19. If you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because, of course, that lets me know what you guys want and helps the algorithm. So, without further ado, let's hop into some Axie gameplay and show you some builds that my scholars have been using to climb the ranks. So, which videos can we show you today we're gonna go up we're gonna go up we're gonna go up and of course this is our discord this is where we have a lot of our great games here and our scholars show off their games to see so we can see how they're doing um so today we're gonna watch cat's gameplay cat of course rocks out with a double dusk term build one termy actually one termy I think so, yeah. We got one Termi and one Ronin Dusk. Um, very unorthodox build, but you gotta have the unorthodox builds to see if they work with the new meta. So we're gonna open this up here and we're gonna see what we got. By the way, we're rocking out with Keith in the building, Wang Du. And of course, we got K with us too. And shout outs to Wang Du. Alright, so the first thing here I would say about. Um, cast team is you definitely want to change up the lineup and you don't want them all in the straight line you want this guy to be at least up you want them probably to be formed similar to how they are with their plant in the middle and your two dusk up here that way they can attack the same axie um in this lineup it won't matter too much but again if you go against teams where they start splitting their guys up here you're gonna run into problems there and that's really really noticed so you definitely want to split them up there so but we'll go off and show her axes so we have the dust turning in the back here 46 speed the 49 speed Ronan the screw and of course we have the plants here with tiny catapult to get rid of the birds, vegetable bites, and of course the am Going into healing plants, Ronin Imp, and slow terminator. So let's see what goes on here. So the first thing she does, first turn happens, she skips, and this person literally gets a perfect draw. Double energy gain with the Ronin. It's gonna be a lot of damage here. So let's see this. Wangdu says, I'm cousin of Liberty, brother. I see your team is nice. Oh, are you? Wait, you're Liberty's cousin? Like, Ashley? No way. Can I have, oh, can I have that team, brother? This is a nice team. I really like it, honestly. All right, so. A perfect executed steal. I think this is the right move to do here. Especially when your plants are around low energy It always surprises them when they use a pumpkin. So definitely the right moves here I think they blocked up last turn if I can remember so that means they're probably gonna be open for damage She has some Ronin here So let's see what she ends up doing So right here using the sticky you here not necessary because they don't have any backdoor moves you probably just want to go with Mystic, Allergic, Chomp. And usually when you attack, you probably want to go all out because it's a healing plant. So you have a bunch of cards here. Just, I, I would almost go balls to the wall. <laughs> Excuse my French. Or you just go with Mystic, Allergic, and then Ronin, Chomp, Aranda. That's also an option here. And then Miss is trying to steal the energy. Now 322. Now this Axie here has to get the job done doing the big damage. Let's see what she does here. And of course, she goes for the big damage. I think it's definitely the way to go. Finishes it up. Now, right here, this beast is absolutely, he's about to get his 
but munched honestly there's nothing this beast can do and that's why they don't even bother doing any beast cards here as soon as that plant's gone it's good night for that beast so smartly she puts her highest defensive cards up first and oh my god wow this guy blew his casket and because this beast is still alive this beast now has to draw cards even though oh my goodness even though the beast is going to be dead and right here order is very important <clears throat> even though the beast is going to die anyway you'll want to use allergic just because it will go through a shield if the beast decides to shield up the beast probably doesn't have enough cards to shield up let's be honest he only has two energy but um that's typically what you want to do there okay and this is why right here the last stand opportunity and lucky <laughs> this person did the mystic <laughs> okay sweet so we're in business now because he used the mystic 42 speed he, this person is now ahead in the order so kath has the health advantage has the speed advantage but this person does have the energy advantage does have the jump on them first round here and the reptile does damage us a bit more because it's a reptile so let's see what happens here so they use chop first to go through the shield they go for big damage and let's see what cat does here so definitely has to work on the termy order here gets the critical but because this person's gonna use a sticky goo you want to make sure that you're timing your order of cards perfectly that way that you're sticking you when you're actually <laughs> stunned um it puts you in a place where you can do some damage here so <laughs> the hard part about it is you know this person's gonna go first so that's why kath used her sticky you first and then you probably want to slow them down so that's why kath used this one second and she used this one third probably because um yeah see this is a hard one i would probably go here chomp third because they'll chomp through their shield and then probably allergic here because then it's possible that this person is going to show 145 40 plus this 80 chomp you might not sticky their shield and then you'll have allergic but again really hard to know what to do there or maybe even sticky mystic mystic allergic but let's see cat's still in the game and she's in a fantastic position so right here definitely not using sticky you first you probably want to go mystic allergic then sticky you and then chomp because that way you're gonna avoid you're gonna avoid their um sticky you completely so here we go right here sticky you and then cat gets the thing and now cat gets cat gets to finish them off so this is great news because this means that um cat is still able to win and she has opportunities to really bump up her play here which is absolutely phenomenal because that's how you really climb through the mmr and again in case they put 60 on you you probably want to use mystic allergic but nonetheless excellent job cat gets the win there now let's watch one more game here and by watching people's games along with your own games it really helps you get better and improve by the way we got falk in the building falk says hello wang deuce is watching in two platforms that's what's up right now i'm actually live streaming on youtube and twitch look at that we are multitasking absolutely incredible so we're gonna watch another one of cat's games here and see the true power of the double dusk Okay, let's see this. So similar thing, of course, switching up the lineup. 
crown was thrown back then. Um, right now, see the lowest of the lows, deep dirt from the ground. Remember back when still hurts. Ooh, the right spicy. Then, so they had them spicy first. So let's check out this team. You got the Ronin Imp. You got the Koi Aqua. And of course, the prickling. Look at this high damage plant in the beginning. Very interesting axes. Okay, now let's start this thing up. So nice cat uses pumpkin. What's great about pumpkin is it's gonna give her oh no, she doesn't get the extra draw because of course this guy is a high damage plant, but she does shave off and avoids getting damaged, so that's always great. So again, what this guy wants to do, this guy is trying to get your energy and damage at the same time. Very typical. Kath is probably gonna go for high damage right here. Um, <clears throat> so this team does have a little bit of problem getting rid of, rid of um, these people. And one of the things that Kath may wanna try is chomping first, then Ronin using her venom spray chomp then ronin because when they put up the shield here you'll be able to do damage through shields which is absolutely phenomenal that's definitely a combo that can help this build and now she's in a real tough position because this guy can really put the pressure on gets two energies out of that ronin combo and now kath is in trouble so she has to get rid of this guy quickly to get to this beast but only has two energies or four energies let's see what she can do here So the big damage combo comes just in time. Now this person is just gaining energy like crazy. Hey, we got Yao Fudge in the building, Wang doing the building, Wang doing the building, Falk in the building. Guys, we are watching Axie gameplay. By the way, the community gets better when we all know each other. The best way to do that, guys, if you click on someone's name just like this, you can add them as a friend just like that. That, of course, is how the community gets bigger and we all get to know each other. And of course, guys, if you didn't know, on my Twitch page and in the YouTube comments, you can join this awesome community, the Discord. That is where all of the shenanigans go down and you get to get ex excellent Axie tips just like this video. All right, so... So Kath is in a real tough position right now, honestly. This person blows their absolute casket and Kath is smart. She doesn't use any cards on this one because she doesn't want to get thinged. And right here, because she wanted the stun combo, she used these two cards. It's tough, it's tough. You didn't have the allergic you wanted there. So definitely tough on knowing what to do there. And in case that person did a prickling bright, maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want to use sticky because don't know how they're going to come after you, but maybe Mystic and yeah, Chomp was it's good still enough, but it's, it's hard to tell you guys. Yeah. By the way, big shout yeah. out to our newest yeah. follower, Ian Hivos. Thank you so much for the follow. And right here, you want to... So to activate this right here, this 1-3 damage um, to debuffed targets or nerfed targets, you'll want to make sure you use your Mystic first. So she probably just forgot the Mystic. It applies the slowdown and makes these ones do 150 damage or 140 damage on beasts instead of 110. So she nearly gets the kill, but she would definitely would have had it if she used the Mystic. All good in the hood though. Again, goes for the double slowdown here and saves an energy. So puts her in a phenomenal spot to go against this Aqua. Now this Aqua needs a lot of energy. It can speed up. The best thing to do here is just <laughs> sticky goo, mystic, allergic chomp, and just rinse and repeat that formula. And she just does that, of course. So right here, you can see them missing. And honestly, it might be good to almost save a Mystic Rush here. 
Because if you can get them not using Koi once and not using Swift Escape and surprise them, you might be able to steal the show here. So that's another thing you can also do with this. And again, it's just going to be using. Oh, <laughs> so here you definitely wanted to use Chomp to get the stuns off. Um, even though Mystic does a bit more damage, Chomp gives you shield and it protects you for when they attack you next. Because right now, this Aqua is actually going to run out of energy here. So this Aqua would have been completely done. But then again, Blue Moon's here. So, ah, it's tough. It's tough. And right here, she basically would have won, but blue moon and she had them slow down. So ooh, definitely tough in that situation. Would have Chomp give you enough health? I don't even know if Chomp would have given you enough health to really survive blue moon. It's very hard to tell. Good game. Definitely has the combos down. There's a couple areas. But overall, amazing progress. As you know, Cat's only been playing this game for two weeks. Chop games, slow down, sticky use are very complex things to learn. It requires you to know your own cards and the opponent's cards. But Cat is doing an absolute phenomenal job. Of course, she is our 10th uh, scholar. I, wait, no, I think 8th scholar. No, she's our 11th scholar. Wow, guys. We are absolutely exploding here. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. If you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Axie gameplay. And let me know which card do you think is absolutely killing it in this season, especially with all the nerfs. I mean, come on, Ronan got nerfed for all of their Axies that aren't beasts and things like allergy reaction, but I think they're still good cards. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's like we're gonna take off though. We will see you next time. Peace.